Good morning from The Nature Company. Today we're going to give you some insight into a little known remedy for orchids. Not only is it a remedy for fungus and insects, it's also a general tonic for the health of your plant, garlic. It's an easy, common to find ingredient, often used in the kitchens. Today I'll be showing you how to make a basic tonic from the garlic. It's an easy recipe. There's a hundred out there to choose from. This is the one that I use the most often. So basically, all we need is a garlic. We're looking at about 10 grams of garlic, which is two cloves. Don't throw away your garlic peels. They make a potassium rich fertilizer. So keep them and throw them into the compost heap. Okay. We just take your two cloves. It's just a mortar and pestle. We're gonna break the garlic up roughly. Okay, just by smashing your garlic up roughly. You can put this in with water. For the 10 grams of garlic, we're gonna use 200 mils of water and we'll let it sit overnight or from 24 to 48 hours before use. We're just gonna take this out, put it into a jar to sit in water. This will take out all the, the active ingredients in the garlic. Garlic is high in sulfur and this is one of the ingredients that we're wanting to get into the plant that helps with the antifungal properties. mils with your 10 grams of garlic. Use distilled water at room temperature. Um, don't use hot water or tap water if you can avoid it. All the extra salts in the tap water and the chlorine do take down the efficacy of the sulfur slightly. So if you can, distilled water at room temperature and lucky enough someone was clever enough to prepare one beforehand. Yeah, we have the garlic tonic with the large pieces of garlic still in it that's been standing for 24 hours. Sieving it out, we're just going to be pouring a bit of the concentrate to keep one side to use as a, a folio wipe. The balance we're going to put through the sieve, just a little tea strainer here to get rid of the large pieces and this we're going to dilute further. So now using the concentrate, all we're going to be doing is taking a small piece of cotton wool and with this cotton wool, we're making sure we, it's not too wet. We're just going to be wiping the top sides of the leaf just nice and easily. And then we'll go in underneath, wipe the undersides of the leaf, making sure we get to all those spaces where insects might be hiding or that the fungal spores or algae might be hidden away to make sure that they can be killed by this. Also the absorption through the leaf of the garlic tonic with all the sulfur and other nutrients helps a more vigorous root system grow and the more vigorous root system is the healthier plant you're going to have. Now we're going to dilute our concentrate. There we go. So we dilute it to, to a litre. So now with our dilute, what we're going to do is put some into a spray bottle. This just gives us a handy tonic we can apply at any time with ease. Now, just having received this orchid 
from the shops noticing that there is some algal growth that we would like to get rid of we're going to be using the garlic water okay so what we're going to be doing is just pouring it in through there notice I'm not pouring it on the plant I'm just pouring it straight onto the the roots and into the media and what happens here with the garlic water it increases the root growth through the the bioactivity and garlic water is high in sulfur this inhibits the spore germination of any fungus that might be in here this will stop the proliferation of fungus in your plant also it is um, algicidal properties which is going to kill all the algae that's growing in this media so we can then transplant it later with ease and knowing that we're not going to be passing our algae and fungi into the next pot that we put it into the garlic water has nitrogen potassium and phosphorus also all good for the plants but the main reason is the sulfur it's high in the sulfides which help with the bioactivity inside the plant we also have other small micronutrients which help so this is just a basic tonic but please know that garlic can be overused if you use too much garlic on your plant too often it is detrimental to your plant's growth it can kill your plant if used too often and now that you've decanted some of your garlic water into a spray bottle it's an easy to use insect repellent for your plant you're just going to be spraying it over and through your plant occasionally to keep insects away we're trying not to have too much moisture around the crown but it helps to get rid of those pesky mealybug that climb in between the leaves and here when you notice there's been some insect attack on your plant using your handy garlic water in the spray also you'll notice the leaves are slightly dried out this is going to be a good tonic to help it revive faster is we're just going to give it a quick spray on both sides of the leaves this is going to act as a insect repellent and if there's any soft body insects we're hoping that we'll get rid of them completely nature's wonder garlic not only good for you good for your plants in moderation thanks for watching and if you found this video on garlic tonic water interesting please press that notification bell Bing! that will keep you up to date on our latest videos that hopefully we can give you some more interesting content please subscribe like and share that helps us grow like your orchids happy growing